all, and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today, I am here in Ponytown to talk about common questions in Ponytown. These are some questions that I have gotten personally several times, either in my comments or on Discord servers or wherever else, but I've also seen these online and other places uh, and other people asking these questions just in-game and things like that. So in today's video, I want to gather a ton of common questions and answer every single one of them uh, right now, starting with, how do you zoom in and out of the game? If you don't know, you can actually zoom in on your character like this you can also zoom out on your character like this and do all these fancy things like this this isn't some fancy editing trick this is just something that you can do now uh, there's more than one way to do this if you are on keyboard and mouse of course you can use the O key on your keyboard to zoom out and P on your keyboard to zoom in this is very helpful if you want to uh, see more of the screen or or see less of the screen Another way to do this is to check your settings icon up here in the top right corner, and then you'll see a zoom thing there, and you can zoom in and out with these little plus and minus things. There's also some actions that will allow you to do this as well. Uh, I believe the zoom in, zoom out thing might be default uh, on there, but if it's not, just, just click this edit actions icon down here in the bottom right of your screen. Uh, you can also click the settings and go to it there and then go to the actions and you'll see a zoom in zoom out thing and you can grab your zoom in and bring it down to your actions down here uh, all the way down here to the bottom and we can close this and now if I click these actions or tap them on mobile then I can use them the same way as uh, everyone else. So that's how you can zoom in and out. And like I said before, it's very helpful if you want to see more of the screen, but it's even more helpful if you want to zoom in really close to the screen to avoid looking at other players. But speaking of avoiding other players and not looking at them or paying any attention to them and ignoring them and all that stuff, we can actually move into our next question, which is, can you get muted in Ponytown? The answer to that is yes, you can get muted in Ponytown. There are more than one way to get muted in Ponytown. For example, uh, let's just take this character here. Uh, for example, maybe there's something that they've done that just really Really upset me and I hate them I hate them so much uh, I can do all kinds of things about this obviously I can report them and everything like that I can also click them or tap them if you're on mobile then this little player card will come up in the top left with this little icon under it you can click that and get more actions that you can do to this character I can of course send them a whisper give them an item add them to friends invite to player but what we're talking about here is muting and ignoring players so I can click this ignore player thing here and as you see the little tooltip that comes up says ignore this player uh, you won't receive this player's messages so if I do this they won't be able to see my messages and I won't be able to see their messages they met their messages being things that appear above their head the text I can also hide this player for 24 hours and they will they will be completely invisible to me and uh, I will be completely invisible to them uh, for 24 hours I can of course do this permanently and if I decide to change my mind later I can of course go into my settings and change that uh, so that is how you can get ignored uh, or get muted, so to speak. There's, of course, another way that you can do this as well. Uh, for example, if you are spamming a bunch. So if I just sit here and say banana and I just say banana over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again in public chat, eventually the game will be like, hey, this person is spamming. Let's mute them temporarily. You can also get shadow banned this way uh, and all this other stuff. And so basically just follow the rules and be nice and you'll never get muted. But yes, you can indeed get muted in the game. Speaking of players that might get annoyed and report you or anything else, there is another question, another common question that I see a lot, and that is, what the heck does TT mean or what the heck does TD mean in Ponytown? Now, TD is touch discomfort and TT is touch triggers. Basically, if someone has a TT or TD above their head or something like that when you hover over them, basically that's them saying, hey, I don't like being touched. Uh, I cannot find anyone with that currently right now for some reason, but uh, normally there's people over here at the top of the map for whatever reason i don't know why there's always someone with tt or tt up here at the top of the map but usually there is um but uh essentially they don't like to be touched so if you see that just just avoid them don't touch them um don't bother them don't even interact with them just just completely leave them alone because for the most part they just want to be left alone so uh that is that that is the answer to that question so let's move into the next question because the next question is what the heck is dnt the the dnt i think is the same thing do not touch so yes don't touch them either but let's move on to the next question because the next question the real next question is 
How do I remove walls? That's right, the next question is how do I remove walls? How do I destroy them on my party island and things like that? To do this, you're gonna have to get yourself a saw tool. Now, you can get this saw tool because there's actions down here that allow you to change between objects and, and tools and stuff like that. There's a little action icon thing here. I can click this or tap this on mobile and it will give me a hammer. Then I can click it again and it will give me a paintbrush and, and so on through all the tools. But what we're looking for is the saw tool. Now, if you are on keyboard you can press a single key on your keyboard and it will immediately give you that tool that you're looking for the saw tool is binded to the t button on your keyboard so you can press that and it will immediately give you the saw tool uh, now of course if you're on mobile you'll have to use the action or you'll have to pick it up off the ground or something like that but this is how you do it so now that we have a saw tool we have to we have to equip the same type of wall that we want to remove for example we have a tall wall here a short wall here uh, a stone wall here and then another wooden wall here uh, there is many different types of walls and things like that to find out which one you need uh, open up your build menu, you can press the hammer icon down here or press tab on your keyboard. As you can see, there is many different types of walls and you can make some of them tall, some of them short, some of them auto, which is its own confusing mess, but we have to figure out which ones are which and that is the best way to figure it out is to open up your build menu and stuff like that. So this is obviously uh, this, this wall here. This is obviously the same wall as that. Now that I have the same wall equipped, I will just click right here and drag and now you'll see that it's red and then I let go and now it is destroyed, it is deleted, it is gone forever now you can do this in more than one way obviously you can equip the same same type of wall and then just do it once like i just did or you can equip a totally different wall like this stone wall and then uh, cover it up over that like that and then obviously that's going to turn into a stone wall which you might not want that either but now instead of switching to that type of uh, wall you can now place this kind of wall and then immediately delete it like that now, the reason why the whole like uh, confusing mess of like tall wall and short wall and stuff like that is here uh, is because, for example, if I have uh, a wall like this, this is going to delete it, right? That's obviously deleted, but this is actually a short wall, which means now I can't remove this wall because this wall is an auto wall, which is a whole nother thing, and that's why it's confusing, and this is why people get confused on how to actually delete walls. But as you can see there, it didn't delete the wall because it was an auto. I let go. Now it is a uh, short wall, and now I can delete it. Same thing with this. This is a tall wall. You'll actually have to click this icon here, and then click this icon here to get the tall wall, or you can press space on your keyboard, uh, and then you can drag, and then you can get rid of it. But speaking of how to build things on on, uh, PC or mobile or anything like that the next question is how do you put things on that there table well the answer to that is actually really sad uh, but unfortunately you cannot really put things on tables the, the, there's a weird thing where you kind of can but you kind of can't essentially you have to be very very specific on where you place it for it to go onto the table for example if I want this little fez plushie on these tables I can do that all day long however I want except I can't get a Above the halfway mark on the table. Once I get about the halfway mark on the table and I try to place it at the top side of the table, it will not work. It will just put it behind the table. Also, there are tables that you just cannot even put at the bottom half. For example, we have a small table here and a coffee table here or whatever the heck it's called. You cannot put anything on these tables no matter what you do, which means these tables are more or less useless. Speaking of very useless things, some of you have probably been wondering how the heck do I got a little pony on my head? How do I got this little plushy thing on my head? How do you get it? How, how do you unlock it? What, what, what's the deal with that? And the answer is uh, this is a default thing that everyone has. If I open up my uh, main menu here and I go to the characters tab and then I go to the items tab and then I go to the others tab. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long process. Uh, there's actually a thing here. You can show preview of what it would be like in the actual game. And then you can customize this, this little plushie as much as you want. But as it says here, you have to enable these accessories in game. These are not accessories that you just automatically have once you join the game. To access them, uh, you have to uh, first load into the game and then go up to one of these toy stashes. Uh, you don't have to go to these, these toy stashes, but this is the simplest way to explain it to people is just go to these toy stashes. As you see, this player only has the, the plushy thing because they don't have any toys unlocked, obviously, because they were switching back and forth from it. But you go up to it and you click it. I don't have it, obviously. Um, but if you have other toys unlocked, you'll actually have to filter through all the toys to get to it um, and stuff like that but eventually you can get to the t the plushy toy that you're looking for the little the little horse thing 
Uh, another way to do this is you can use a command. This command obviously works on mobile and all the devices and stuff like that. Uh, you just do a simple slash drop toy if you don't want it on your head anymore and it will remove it from your head. But if you do want that pony plush on your head, you can do slash toy and then zero or any negative number and then you enter that command and it will give you the pony plush. Uh, so that's how that works. But the question is, how, how do you unlock them? How do you get the presents to unlock toys and things like that? Because I've seen all kinds of toys like this character here. They're just switching between so many toys. How do I get those? I want those. The answer to that is you have to unlock them during the holiday events. The holiday events usually happen uh, Christmas time. Usually it's usually a Christmas event. Sometimes they will do like they did last year or I mean this year. Uh, they had like their fifth year anniversary. They had an, uh, an, a Christmas event basically. Basically you could find these presents all over the map but it was a specific thing. We're not getting into that. Uh, that's probably never going to happen again. If it does happen it'll probably be like in five more years or something. But uh, the Christmas event happens every single year. The Christmas event happens every single year uh, and so uh, all you have to do is wait till Christmas. Christmas is just right around the corner. It could be a week before Christmas when they introduce the update. It could be after Christmas. It could be during Christmas. Usually it won't happen after Christmas but it'll be there after Christmas anyway. So uh, wait till Christmas. Wait till the holiday season so to speak and then just wait for an update to come out saying oh we, we, we uh, activated the holiday event or whatever and then uh, little gifts will just spawn randomly all over the map. You can pick those up unlock them or open them I mean by pressing E on your keyboard or slash open gift or any of this other uh, dumb stuff like that and then you can get yourself a gift so uh, that is how you do that that's how you unlock all of those but the next question is obviously well how do I get those how do I get those presents if I'm not during a Christmas event and the answer is quite simple we can go to our party island as you saw there that was a very simple way to get to our party island uh, we just open up our build menu and of course you can type it in here if you want to uh, you can type in gift uh, uh, grab your gift box drop it down uh, drop all your tools or whatever and then go up to it and then you can grab it these don't count as actual gifts you can't even stash these and hold on to these for the holiday event because they literally will not work even when the holiday event is active but they're a nice little thing that you can hold on to and role play with perhaps you want to role play some kind of Christmas event or something like that and of course you can go back to the island and say that I, this is my best friend ever and I want to give them a gift you can do that simply by clicking on them clicking this icon up here and then pressing the give item gift. Not always will they accept it, so obviously this is something that they have to accept. Uh, this person accepted it because they're my best friend ever. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that is how you give items as well. You can give any item you want, but uh, specifically that is uh, how it works no matter what. The next question is a little bit weird to me because the next question asks, how do you get items in Ponytown? And I don't know exactly what that means. I assume it means like, how do you pick up things? And the answer is quite simple. You literally just walk up to it and you click it or you press E or you even use this little use item interact button, which will um, be active if you can use it. So if like right now it's gray, but if I go up to this leaf, I can, I can pick up this leaf obviously. So it's lit up now. So if I press it, it'll give me the leaf. So that is pretty much how you pick up things or get items, I guess. I don't know uh, what that question exactly is asking, but that is how that works. But another question people have is, how do you support Ponytown? How, how can I support this awesome game or whatever? And the answer is quite simple. If you go to the home tab, like I just did there, there's this little button here that says, it'll, it'll normally say something like, um, consider supporting us on Patreon or something like that. You click that and it'll bring you to their Patreon. There's obviously another button down here at the very bottom, uh, this little Patreon symbol. You click that and it'll bring you to this page here. It'll look different for you because uh, you won't be a supporter most likely, but uh, they have three different tiers. They each give you different things and it can be very helpful and useful to be a supporter. And there's, like I said, there's three tiers, and that brings me into my next question, which the next question is, does Ponytown have a Discord server? And the answer to that is they do have a Discord, but you have to be a Patreon tier two supporter or a Patreon tier three supporter to get access to that Discord server. However, there are plenty of uh, unofficial Ponytown Discord servers all over the place. Uh, you can even make one yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't try to call it official because it's not gonna be official. Another question that some people usually have, and this is the last question that I'm going to be answering for today's video, but another question that people usually have are, how do you remove people from your party, or how do you leave the party? How, how on earth do you leave the party? Unfortunately, I'm not party leader, so I can't show you how to remove players, uh, but I can at the same time. Essentially, if you are the party leader, you can click on them. Why did they give me full permissions? That is like... That is very random, but anyway, uh, normally you won't have full permissions if you join a party, but if you do have full permissions or if you are party leader, you can 
click on anyone in the party list over here on the left and then click this icon that we've been clicking this whole time and there is a remove from party button you can do that and it'll remove them from the party uh, it'll actually give you a little prompt over here on the top right uh, if I do that so if I click that it'll be like are you sure you want to remove this person from the party uh, I'm obviously not gonna do that because this is I, I, sh I just shouldn't um, but that's how you can remove people from your party but if you want to leave the party it's quite simple all you have to do is click this symbol at the very top it is the party option symbol if you hover over it uh, and then you can go down here you can use your own map if you want to you'll still be in the party but you'll be using your own map uh, so that is a fun little thing for you to use to hide from players I guess if you want to or do something weird like that uh, and then of course you can hide the party list so that the, all, all the party members are invisible over here on the icons but not in, in the actual game it's very obvious from here how to leave the party. You just press that, and then it will give you a prompt asking, are you sure you want to leave the party? And then, of course, you would hit accept. And now I'm no longer in that party, and if I was on that island, it will, of course, uh, teleport me back to my own personal island. So that that's how you do it. That's how you leave parties, and that's how you do all these other things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was cohesive enough for you, and I hope... Uh, you learned something here today. If you have any questions, if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video or anything like that either, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in a future video. But for now, that's going to do it for the video and I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking and subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things and until next time, stay wonderful.